Filmora just got smarter. In this video, we're checking out Filmora's brand new AI animated charts, a feature that turns your raw data into beautiful, moving visuals. Let's jump in. To find the animated charts, go to the Effects tab. You'll notice a new section labeled Exclusive. That's where Filmora 15 keeps all its latest AI effects. Right at the top, you'll see Animated Charts, and that's the one we're after. You can also find it by scrolling down to AI Infographics. Filmora added several infographic options here, but for this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the Racing Bar Chart. When you click on Animated Chart, a new window will open. This is your chart editor. Here, you'll see all the chart types available. For this video, we're working with the Bar Chart Race. We're currently on the preview page where you can adjust your layout and appearance. You can switch between dark and light themes, adjust the spacing between bars, and even move your labels left, middle, or outside the chart. You can change the background color too. Personally, I find darker tones look best. They make your data really stand out. So drag the hex slider toward the darker area to get that rich cinematic contrast. Now, let's add some real data. To do that, switch from preview to data. You can enter your values manually or import a CSV file. For this example, I'll import my YouTube geography data straight from YouTube Studio. For the category, I'll choose geography. For the video column, I'll select views. And for the time column, I'll use date. Go back to preview, and there it is, my global viewership data, visualized. Now let's tweak it a bit. I'll rename the header to geography. You can also control how long the animation plays, basically how long each race lasts. Under background, I'll drop the opacity all the way down to zero for a cleaner look. You can even change the aspect ratio depending on your project. Vertical, widescreen, square, totally up to you. Once you're happy with the setup, click Add to Timeline. Filmora will place your chart right into the project. Now that our chart is in place, let's have a bit of fun with compositing. We're going to make it look like the chart is behind me in the shot. To do that, duplicate your main video clip and place it above the chart layer. That means the chart will now sit between the two video layers. Next, head to AI Tools, then Smart Cutout. This feature has also been upgraded, and I'll cover it in detail in another video soon. Use the Smart Brush to highlight the area you want to keep, basically, you. When you're done, quick Start Smart Cutout and let Filmora do its thing. Once it's complete, hit Apply. Oh, I made a small mistake here. I accidentally removed the background on the bottom video instead of the top one. No problem, just switch the two clips around. Now, resize your chart to fit nicely behind you. And you should get something that looks just like this. And there we have it, my YouTube viewership race chart. India is at number one. Thank you, India, for the love and support. The U.S. comes in second, and the Philippines right after in third. That's it for today's video. In the next one, we'll take a look at Filmora's new multi-timeline feature, which lets you work on multiple projects at the same time within a single workspace. So stay tuned. Filmora 15 is just getting started.